Good morning, everyone. Uh, and I'd like to thank eDaily and Flip for inviting us back in here this year. Uh, we were here at the exact same time last year and really enjoyed ourselves um, and had a good time here. And uh, let me continue the presentation. So I think Julian had touched a little bit on what we do at iXwap. Um, just to give you a bit of background, just to give you a bit of background, when we first started iXwap, the, the initial idea was actually to help um, Investor XL sister platform and other token issuance platforms across the world to provide secondary liquidity for the uh, STOs that they were issuing. Um, this was actually a very important step in developing the, the STO markets because if you look at, um, if, you, if you want to get capital into your markets, you need secondary liquidity, right? And that's, that's the same in traditional markets as well. But along the way, what we also realized is that the industry was still very nascent and there weren't a lot of security tokens out there in the market that were very interesting for to bring investors into the market to invest into. So we embarked on that journey to create the launchpad for iXwap, which is essentially the crowdfunding platform that we have um, that's fully on-chained and funded by uh, stablecoins. And uh, yeah, uh, let me move on. So this is the team. I think Julian had already explained that. Um, and just to um, give you a bit of background for those that maybe are not so, um, doesn't have that much knowledge in the financial space, the, why we are looking at the private assets is that the returns of the private assets have generally always been higher than public assets, purely because the liquidity, um, that they, that the lack of liquidity that the private assets have. So what, what we are trying to do right here is to bring the private, private assets to have the same liquidity as the public assets with the, the same, a similar return profile. Oh, the formatting's a bit off. But as you can see right here, this just shows the degree of illiquidity and the returns that you see across investments across the space right now in the financial markets. So as Julian and Bob had, had uh, mentioned before me, the opportunity in the markets is massive, right? The private markets right now are about $15 trillion, and this is from a report by McKinsey done last year. Like I mentioned before, um, iXwap has embarked on this journey to launch uh, private assets to retail customers across the world. We started doing this a couple years ago um, after we attained a license out of the Bahamas, and the license in the Bahamas allowed us to trade retail products across the world, um, ex-US, of course. So I think, I think Julian had also covered a little bit about this, but let me, let me uh, just explain this a little bit more and what we're seeing in the markets. In, in traditional markets, what you have right here is that you generally have asset classes that provide one of the individual rights that you're seeing up here. But what we're seeing in the cryptocurrency market and the STO market right now is that you, you're able to create new types of investment structures that combine all these elements together. Um, let me give you an example. Um, right now, you have timeshares, right, which is, are essentially a membership program into hotels, other real estate um, programs where you get to stay there uh, for a period of time of year. And then on the flip side, you have REITs as well, right, where you can invest into a company and you get returns from the hotels. But what we're seeing right now in the STO market is that it's a combination of these two rights where you're creating a membership program together with a return profile. And we're seeing this across multiple jurisdictions across the world right now. So that's just one example of, of the new structures and the new assets that are being tokenized in the, crypto, uh, in the STO space. And I'll share a little bit more later of the assets that we have tokenized as well. So... Again, drilling covered a little bit of this, but let me give you an example of what, where I see the value in the new structures that we are, we are developing. So for example, in, uh, a lot of people right now are tokenizing treasuries, tokenized bonds, private credit, um, and that generally has a return profile of maybe 5-10%, right? But what, what the power of that brings when you bring it to DeFi is that when you add these things to liquidity pools, these liquidity pools generally generate additional fees that traditional market makers would have earned beforehand. So from 5% treasury bond, you could be earning a 7% return on your traditional assets, which, is, which cannot be done in traditional markets purely because that spread that you're earning on the liquidity pools, that's generally taken by market makers and other traditional infrastructure guys. So if, if you've been following, I guess, the STO markets and the development around the world, BlackRock has been one of the, um, the, key, the key groups that have been pushing tokenization. And the key step, the next step, we believe is that everything in the world is going to get tokenized. So this is just a, a small example of what the IDEO platforms or platforms that are similar to us in the cryptocurrency space have done. Um, and they, these guys don't have security licenses. So these are purely 
raises that have been done on utility tokens that don't have any backing or asset backing behind them. And we foresee that the, the STO markets are going to be much larger in this space, just based on the private assets that are available in the space. So what you see here right now is actually the infrastructure for IXWAP. All right, it looks very complicated right here, but essentially what, what this equates to in the traditional world is actually a lead and book runners, right, where in this case, IXS is the lead uh, originator for the deals, and we have other platforms that are book running for us and distributing the deals for us. We have been working quite um, hard on working with the cryptocurrency exchanges to build the backend infrastructure for them to be able to provide some of these assets to their users as well. So just to give you some examples of things that we have done on IXWAP uh, that would be slightly different from what you see in the traditional markets. So IXAPE, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this NFT called the BAYC, which is the Board Ape Your Club. These things went up to about half a million dollars in the last cycle. What we did was that we securitized a, a BYC, we put it into a company and we fractionalized it and allowed individual investors to buy, buy these uh, tokens at a minimum of $1 on the platform. This went a little bit crazy on the platform. As you can see right here, it did about 20x purely by letting retail, retail customers buy it in individual, individual fractions, creating more liquidity for these assets. Another example here is Tau Digital. This, this was actually quite interesting because the uh, Tao is a pharmaceutical company in Singapore. It's called Torex. It's currently valued at $12 billion in Singapore. Um, and the IPO valuation, uh, expected IPO valuation was actually a 3x. What we did was that we took a fraction of the, um, we, we took a bunch of shares from, from Tao and we tokenized it and put it on chain. And we created a DEX pool to allow people to trade these assets. What we saw was that we saw an insane price appreciation purely because this, gain, this allowed people to get access to these, these um, products. I mean, a little bit of background. Um, a lot of these assets that we're showing you here right now are private assets that retail customers would never get access to. Right? These were only accessible by ultra high net worth clients, um, private, private banks, and minimum bite sizes were probably at least a quarter million to you know, half million dollars in size. So what we're seeing right here is really the democratization of, of private assets to the retail space, and we're seeing a massive price appreciation and demand for these assets as well. Um, this is just another example. We did a solar bond on the platform um, that's actually redeeming this month. Um, so that, that'll be interesting to see on the platform as well. Um, this was actually a very interesting um, case that we did on IXWAP this year. We had launched a VC fund run by an influencer. Right? So back to uh, the rights that you could, you could actually tokenize. What the demand that we actually saw on, on this um, deal itself was actually a lot of fan base from Coach K itself, who's the influencer, right? But in this case, the, the followers and the, the people that actually followed um, Coach K could actually get into the deal with him and participate in all the deals that he was participating in as well, which hasn't really been available till today. And on top of that, investors were able to get into this deal at a minimum of $1. Right, so you don't have those barriers of entry where you have to have such a large, large sum to get into these deals. And a big reason for that is because of blockchain. Uh, blockchain removes the need for any sort of these paperwork being done. I think in the old days, if you need to do a share transfer, you need to put a couple hundred dollars for that to actually happen. But right now, because everything is on-chain, everything is seamless, um, we're able to take in investors with a minimum of $1 on the platform. And that's, that's a big game changer. So I'm just going to move on to some of the, the initiatives that we've started um, in Korea. Last year when we came down, we, we embarked on this journey to actually find some assets here that would be interesting for the rest of the world to access to. Right? Um, for, for the rest of the world right now, Korean IP, Korean content is, is huge. Right? So we embarked on a journey to actually try to get some of these assets and um, get global investors to invest into these products which they've never been able to before. So we started off with the first one. This has been, uh, this was a uh, tokenized wine deal that we did on the platform. Uh, it's together with a group called Treasure in, in uh, Korea. Uh, so that's been launched on the platform. Uh, the second deal that we're doing right now is, is a slightly more unique deal. Um, I, I don't think I've ever seen a deal like this across the world in any sort of investment platform. We tokenize a bunch of YouTube channels and we put into a fund together. And the returns from these YouTube channels are then passed on to all the, all the investors of the platform. But thank you for hearing me out. Um, if you guys want to join IXOP and find out a little bit more about the platform, please, please get a QR code and join us. Thank you. <laughs>